Hello, I'm Drew Mitchell with the Medem's Help Desk Department of Education. Today we're going to be talking about long-term substitute teachers. Uh, some notes for long-term substitute teacher are that it is a one-to-one -one relation to the teacher they're going to be substituting for, which means you cannot use long-term substitute teachers to fill vacant positions. If you have a classroom that needs a teacher, but you have no teacher to assign to that, you're going to be using a standard substitute teacher for that role. Long-term substitute teachers are only to cover positions where teachers are either going on sabbatical or medical leave, things of that nature. Long-term substitutes can be used for up to 90 days before they appear in violation on your violations list. We'll go into that a bit more on the violations list for the MIAS videos. So the first step to creating a long-term substitute teacher is to sign into NEO and then you're going to go to your staff module and do a staff search or an SAU search. SAU search would be for if whoever is going to be the long-term substitute teacher is already employed at the district. If it's someone new or you're pulling them in from another district, you would do staff search. Today we're going to use SAU search and use an existing Maine Department of Education example teacher. We're going to use Bob Buckrantle. Already has a position as data specialist, but we're going to create a new position as a long-term substitute teacher. So we're going to pick a start date. We'll just say February 3rd was his start date. And we're going to do the main department of education. And it's going to be a substitute long-term teacher. Once you do pick substitute long-term teacher, you can see it's going to open up some more options here. We'll get to that in a second. We'll do zero for years of experience. We'll say it's a W-2 employee. Now when you pick when you pick the school that this, the person is substituting for, it'll give you a list of available teachers for which they can subs for, and you'll pick one. We're going to go with Robert Walker. When we open that up, it asks what course this person is substituting for. So we'll just do general mathematics, and we'll say grade 12. Then you're going to put in any other pertinent information for the person. Again, this is a one-to-one -one relation, which means the long-term substitute teacher does count towards your EPS FTE because they are replacing that classroom teacher. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure this information is correct. And we would fill in any contact information. This information obviously doesn't exist. We're in our test environment. So before we save this, I want to make a note here. Once you hit submit, you want to make sure the position start date you're picking is accurate. If you do a future date, there is no way to go back in and correct that date. So if you pick, if I was to have picked 2-9, that position would not become effective until 2-9. There's no way for us for you or us to go back in and change that date. Another thing is when you hit submit, Robert is going to immediately be placed on leave and that is going to end Robert's current assignment. So before you do this, if you're not sure about Robert's staff assignment information, you're going to want to go into Robert's staff assignments, view the assignment, and screenshot it. There is other ways to access that information. If you go into Robert's assignments, you can change the assignment status at the top to ended or inactive, pending or on leave, and you can go in and get his information that way. So either way you want to do that, just be aware that once you submit this, it will immediately put Robert Walker on leave or whichever teacher you're picking, and then his assignment is done. If you, when you end the substitute long-term teacher's assignment, it does not put Robert or the teacher you're picking back in their position. You have to go back and recreate their position, which is why 
I stress the importance of making sure you're aware of how to get to Robert's information or grab it and save it before you do this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. And it's going to immediately create the long-term substitute teacher position and put Robert on leave. So if we go back to the main Department of Education, you can see that Robert is no longer listed here as an active assignment. You would have to go to staff search and look Robert up to get into his old staff information for his ended assignments or on leave assignments. Pretty straightforward there. If you have any questions, feel free to contact the help desk. We'd be happy to answer for them. And that's it. Have a great day.